Hi, I'm CJ Peterson. Welcome to Atlantic Iowa. Well, here in Atlantic, um, I'm involved in uh, GEL, Just Eliminate Lies, and I actually started the chapter my freshman year in high school. One of the things that is most troubling to, to us as GEL students is that 2,900 children die each year of smoking-related causes, um, and it, it's a preventable cause of death, and that, that's what's most disturbing about it. Our biggest push was the Tobacco for Campus initiative, and as of August of this year, there will be no tobacco allowed on school property. We are really pushing for the FDA regulation of tobacco. And so we did an event at our high school called Secondhand Lollipops because, you know, we've heard of secondhand smoke. We've heard of, you know, the dangers that other people can have when they're around smoking. But really, it's harder to get a little lollipop on the shelf than it is to get a cigarette on the shelf. And we, we don't think that's appropriate. And it's because the uh, Food and Drug Administration doesn't have regulation authority over tobacco. In our uh, Clean Indoor Air Act, we had the preemption clause, and that meant that communities couldn't pass stronger laws than the state law, uh, as far as smoke-free bans go. And so we went out into the communities and we drummed up grassroots support, and we actually were able to pass resolutions requesting that the state grant them the authority to pass smoke-free ordinances. The efforts of CJ and, and the other GEL members, especially our GEL leadership, the Executive Council, were uh, very effective and, and helpful in getting this state law passed for uh, smoke-free air uh, all over the state. Uh, coming to the Capitol, uh, writing the letters, uh, making the phone calls, going to the uh, towns and, and meeting with the legislators there. CJ was awesome at that. CJ has uh, a lot of uh, passion and that gives him courage, I think, to do things that uh, most uh, people his age probably wouldn't do. He uh, isn't into confronting people, I don't think, but his message is that of, hey, we're fighting big tobacco, they're trying to addict you, why would, uh, why would you be against us here? I love doing this and I'm going to try and get other people involved in our movement. And I think that's the greatest thing for me about this award is that I'll be able to um, it's, it's almost a springboard to greater things, and not for me, but for tobacco control as a whole.